you're not seen doesn't mean you haven't been working. And I probably, since we lost to Fresno, um, it depends on the circumstances of the situation. But I probably never put more time in from as we talk now to after the end of the season. And, uh, and we've had changes, um, which change is good. You know, sometimes change is good for everybody. We, uh, we lost two assistants that are dear friends of mine, and they made moves for reasons that they thought would better their career. And we still love each other to death. And um, the one thing I've learned from and you're almost learning. I learned from Joe Parker to not be hasty. And so I've taken my time in organizing who we're going to sign, who I'm going to hire, and we've made a lot of progress as we sit here now. We've replaced whatever it is, Ross or Laird, with uh, Chase Pearl, the GN's own junior college coach. I'm knowing Willie Glover into the other spot. It could be temporarily, it could be permanent, time will tell. But we have a lot of people interested in that position. And I'm going to take my time. And Will Glover could easily prove to be the best candidate at the end of the day. I don't know if, there are any, if there's a 28 year old out there that is ahead of the game. I can't. He's already brought some great things to the table and will only continue to. So, again, sometimes change is good. My, my mentor used to say, for assistance to stay longer than four years, you know, it gets stale, it gets dull. Um, certain coaches used to demand that their assistance move. Um, so I think a change for Ross and Leonard is probably good for them. And I think, uh, you know, a, a fresh air, not that it's stagnant, will help us. So, he, back to the question, Chase points an awful lot of wealth to the table at a very young age. And uh, he wants to be a head coach. And I never wanted a system that didn't want to be a head coach. So, you're going to have some movement at times because guys are trying to position themselves in better situations in their mind. I'm a head coach quicker, so um, I'm really excited about it. Steve Barnes has always been my pit bull, my anchor guy, and he's been through all ups and downs with me, and uh, I don't think he nearly gets the credit he should. He never seems to be brought up, and really every place I've been successful at, he's been the major, the major reason for that success. He recruited Jamal Tinsley. Um, he recruited the guy that named Rod, Roddy Anderson at Utah State that put Utah State on the map. He, he, he recruited the guys at Southern Miss. So he's rarely brought up, but he is as big as anchor of this program as I am. He just doesn't choose to be out there. He just, he's doing his job. And I'm big on moving within, you know, so you can see guys that work with me, that are loyal to me, they, they advance. And uh, basically that's what we're doing to some degree. Um, so I've never felt, again, you know, we lost, I lost two dear friends, but change is good sometimes, you know, for everybody. And, we're replacing them with more than capable individuals. So I've never felt better about a staff. Well, I can give you my phone bill, and you can see what it's like. You know, it's been, That'd be really helpful if we get the numbers. Yeah, you can get the numbers. <laughs> no, I couldn't have done that at some other job, but I can now, safely say. But you can track me, and I've been almost not in every state, but I've been all over the country. Um, I'm not a tweeter, so people, you know, I just don't like that. I mean, it's just not me. I, you know, I'm 
very comfortable who I am, and I've been, been hectic to say the least, but a good hectic, and, you know, a, a fun hectic. I turned 60 this year, and, uh, or last year, and I feel very fresh and very juvenile and very excited about the future. So it's been, it, it's, it's been a daily thing to get to what I just reported to you guys. I think the one thing that the majority of our team was wondering is coach got me here, meaning me. That was their biggest, if you interview them, I imagine that's what you're going to hear. We were really worried if coach you stations. We heard all these rumors, you know, we read, we read, it's all out there these days. You know, is he going to go with Tom Thibodeau, is he going to, and I think the biggest thing is that, you know, their, their, their anger, and I hope I am, isn't going to duplicate what's going on in these days. But the player has a good point. You know, one coach went from Little Rock to Las Vegas to Texas Tech within three weeks. Right. There was no truth to it whatsoever except for Tina's a very good friend of mine and I was a consultant, basically, that she would call and, and ask me about people. You know, there was never the talk. She knows where I'm committed to and what I wanted to do. And quite frankly, this is a, a much better place to live, a much better college, a much better potentially job-wise. But that was just going from a relationship with the athletic director that I've had for years and years and years. Yeah. So there was nothing ever to that at all. I'm really comfortable as I sit here with you guys. I really am. I, I like the hard work is paying off. And, this, and I'm talking about hard work from day one when we took this job.